Right, hello people, how is it going? I hope you are all doing well, hope you're all keeping safe. And today, welcome back to another review, but this is a slightly different review. This is a re-review of the model I first reviewed on my channel, and it is the BR Intercity Executive Class 43 HST Intercity 125. Now, this is an iconic train of British rails. Uh, this delivery, certainly in the 80s and 90s. Um... On the back of the box is a nice picture with some brief history. Don't know if you can read that, I'll just bring it closer up. Feel free to pause the video if you would like to read that, but I will leave an in-depth description in the description below. And I'll also give you a brief history on it as well. On the bottom of the box, the code you will need is R3271, it is DCC ready and it is BR Intercity Power Car 43021 and BR Intercity 125 Unloaded Power Car 43022. Nothing more else to say, so we'll get her out of the box and we'll take a closer look at her detail. Right, so we have opened the box and as you can see here she is in all her glory. Now the one thing I do have a problem with is the packaging. I'm not a fan of this polystyrene packaging. I prefer the block of ice blister pack packaging. But that's just me. But we'll get them out and take a closer look at the detail. Right, so here we have the power car up on the chair to have a look at her detail. Now we'll start with the undercarriage, the wheels you can see. There's a fair amount of detail, it's all moulded plastic onto the bogey which then attaches to the wheels. Same under here, all one colour, it's a shame they couldn't do it. More colours. Uh, got some detail on the under bit here, and same with the bogey. But we do have some separately fitted parts like these painted hand, ra uh, hand rails, which are quite nice, got them on the door as well and what I like about this door as well if I get the other end look, you can push it open if I use my finger you can open and close it now the livery is beautifully executed in City 125 lovely print the line is just really crisp a lovely color of yellow top and bottom and you a lot of people weather this and make it look really nice which I would like to do one day but you got an orange strip along the top and then you move to the cream bit which we, you will see later on on the coaches which I will show you moving round to the back this might be a bit close up if it is apologies let's get the camera to focus so we have some warning signs on both sides and something there that I can't make out but the door is just part of the body shell, it's not like a separately fitted part, this doesn't open as you can see, handrail is also moulded. We have the older, bigger couplings, we sadly don't have men couplings, but moving on to the other side and it is basically the same detail, we've got the grill, separately fitted parts, you can see the motor inside as well this is where the motor is housed don't know if you will be able to see that if the camera would like to focus you can see it in there and if i turn it around you can see the chip in the right light in there but <laughs> yep and then on the roof simply the same again nice yellow got the exhausts and some panels that are nice uh, nice to see a different colour. Rivets everywhere, more grills, and overall the detail is fairly good. And if I just get the other one out uh, of the packaging, the dummy car, take this off, and put the dummy car in front of you, you can see it is practically the same, so I won't need to bother going over the detail on this, because it is exactly the same, just this doesn't have a motor. So... That is the power cars, or the ends reviewed. Let's move on to showing you the coaches. 
So the first coach I have to show you is a first class coach and you can tell it's first class because of the yellow stripe which you will see the other coaches do not have. So starting off with this end we do have some nice separately fitted and separately painted parts like this handrail, the door handle and the rims around the windows are lovely nice colour cream with a massive H. There is a little bit of a dink there which you might be able to see on camera if it if it shows up and the same on here there is a little dink just above the window but that's not much to worry about because you don't notice them when it's going at speed in seat 125 again and the bogey similar to the power cars have got some a lot of molded detail on them like the springs would be nice if you could see these bogeys picked out in a different colour or parts picked out in different colours. The underneath, you got just grills and then the other bogey. Again, with all the separately fitted parts. And again, you can see there is a couple of bits of damage on the windows, especially this one. That one's particularly bad. But this was bought second hand, so you don't expect it to be in mint perfect condition. The roof. Is just this all along? There's no detail on the roof, and at the end, this is a this is a fairly long coat, so I'm having to do this at an angle. You got C3, which designates that this is a certain type of coach. I'm pretty sure. Got some power cars, power cars, power warnings, and then the door is completely white, and then the surrounding half of it is white and half of it is black, which I get I find quite weird. I'm not 100 percent sure. Do we have sprung buffers? No, we do not, which is sad. And then on the other side is exactly the same. But take that off and we'll grab another coach. We do have four coaches, but I'll only show you two because the other three are exactly like this. And as you can see, you can tell this isn't a first class because it's got a cream top and not the yellow top, as you can see. So, again, like the first class coach, this has a range of separately fitted and painted parts, like these handrails, and there is slightly different at this end, as you can tell if I do a side by side of that area. Also, you don't have the other win the window here, this is just black, because this is where you put like all your suitcases and bikes and stuff like that. Same again, the bogies have the same detail. And the bottom area and the bogey and the end of the carriage are the same as well with the half white, half black warning signs, C3 and something there that I'm not 100% sure what it picks out. But we'll take a closer look at the livery because it is a very nice livery and you can also see there is a couple of dinks in the window bits but nowhere near as bad as the other one because I think this was brought brand new but there are a couple of bits. But apart from that, the livery is really nice. The line of the red is really nice, and the black, really nice, and the white, really nice. Lovely shade of cream. And I wish I was around in the 80s and 90s when these were running. I have seen a range of HSTs running, but not in this livery. And sadly, now they have mostly gone completely out of service, which is sad after nearly half a century of running on British rails, which is sad, but they are getting old and everything is turning electric. So, I hope you enjoyed this part one of the review, and make sure to look out for part two, which will be out tomorrow when we do the running test. Take care, take sa keep safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, people. See ya. Bye.